so dear students so let us move ahead with the third module uh, the next uh, topic which we are going to study in the third module is the file and record loss so what is file and record loss so what happens sometimes uh, in unix operating system most of the files will be shareable it will can be shared with many processes so concurrently many processes can share a file at a time what if you don't want a file to be shared with another process so that time you can put a lock on a file so similarly you can also put a lock on a record so that is called file and record lock for example let us go ahead multiple processes perform read and write operation on the same file concurrently so many processes can do the read and write operation on the same file concurrently so this provides a means for data sharing among processes so this is called the data sharing among processes but it also renders difficulty for any process in determining when the other process can overwrite data in the file so what difficulty it can be there suppose a process is uh, reading and another process overwrite it then or overwrite it so then uh, some uh, confusion can be created so in order to overcome this drawback unix and posix standard support file locking mechanism so file locking is applicable for regular file it is applicable only for the regular files only a process can impose a write lock or read lock on either a portion of a file or on the entire file now for example i can take uh, with uh, this one uh, i'll create here so in the class also i had discussed suppose here this is a file is there okay so here uh, some uh, address is there zero address next address is there here 255 and here suppose address is there next address is here 5 now now uh, we can put the lock either on the entire file or we can put on portion of a file from 0 to 255 we can put a lock or from 255 to 512 we can put a lock suppose if you are if a process p1 suppose a process p1 is there here p1 and another process suppose this process has put a read lock on this portion from 0 to t255 then some other processes are there p2 p2 P3, if P1 has a put a read lock on the portion of the file from 0 to 255, then P2 and P3 can put, they can also be able to put the read lock on this person or entire file 
means if p1 has put a read lock on this portion of the file and he is reading the file then they will also can put the lock and they can also read the file anywhere but suppose if p1 has put a read lock they cannot put a write lock p2 and p3 they can only put the read lock and they can read it but they cannot they are not allowed to put a write lock and they will not be allowed to write anything in the file until this p1 is reading the data once p1 has finished reading the data unlock this portion then p2 and p3 can put read write lock but read lock parallelly it can work similarly suppose if p1 has put a write lock from 0 to 255 then p2 and p3 will not be allowed to put any lock either read lock or write lock so one if they will not be allowed to do any read lock so they cannot read the data till p1 is writing p2 will also not be allowed to read or write the data with this file until p1 finishes writing so that's why uh, read now let us come so file locking uh, only a process can impose a write lock or read lock on either a portion of a file or on the entire file the differences between the read lock and write lock is that when a write lock is set it prevents the other processes from setting any overlapping read or write lock on the lock file that's what i taught in the uh, paint Uh, by drawing a diagram that if a process has set a write lock other processes will not be allowed to put any lock either read lock or write lock on that a particular region similarly when a read lock is set it prevents other processes from setting any overlapping write lock on the locked region so if a process has set read lock on a a particular region of a file then other processes cannot put a write lock on that file they will allow they will be allowed to put the read lock the intention of the write lock is to prevent other processes from both reading and writing the locked region while the process that sets the lock is modifying the region so write lock is termed as exclusive lock so once a write lock is set other processes cannot have any read lock or write lock so that is called exclusive lock so the use of read lock is to prevent other processes from writing to the locked region while the process that sets the lock is reading down from the region similarly other processes are allowed to lock and and read data from the locked region but if other process has put a read if a process has put a read lock other process will allow to put the read lock and they will be allowed to read the data so that's why read lock is called shared lock if a process locks up a file other processes that attempts to write to the locked region are blocked until the former process release its lock as i said that if a process has put a lock write lock then other processes will be blocked to put read lock or write lock and once the first process has released the lock then only the other processes will be allowed to read or write in that particular region its a prototype is uh, hash include fcntl dot a integer file control integer file descriptor integer command line and the first argument specifies the file descriptor which file you want to put lock the second argument command flag specifies what operation has to be performed it specifies what operation has to be performed uh, read operation write operation and other things 